Yes. Hmm. So you are from? Are you? So you're from Nova Scotia, or you're from so Ontario? I'm but you from, just spent some time in Ontario. Yeah, I'm yeah. from Ontario. I was born in Toronto, but my oh, okay. grandparents. So when my grandparents first migrated to uh, Canada, they migrated to Toronto first. Right. Okay. They opened up a bakery there. Yep. And then somebody convinced them to sell the bakery. Oh. And <laughs> I think it was the best idea. <laughs> and uh, open up a cod fisheries here in Nova Scotia. Oh, in really? the Hubbards. Oh. Do you know where the Cannery Beach is? Yep. Do you know that property right beside it that they just tore down the fish plant? Yes. Yeah. That was my grandparents' place for 20 years. Oh, really? Yeah. And I lived there for... When I was a kid, I lived there for two years, I believe. Yeah. Went to school in Mill Cove. Oh, okay. Um, and then when I got to the teenage years, yeah. I didn't want to come anymore. I wanted to stay in Toronto and be with right. my friends. Yeah. And then we came back when I was 20-something years old to see my uncle because my uncle still stayed here. Right. And I was like, oh, my God. This is great. I yeah. this place, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, my goal was always to come, come back. Come back, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. So where in Ontario? Did I miss that part? Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Downtown Toronto. Downtown Toronto. Yeah, Little Italy. In between. And your little husband's Italy. from there too? So he's from Brazil originally. Oh, okay. I met him in Toronto. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think he was here for maybe like two years before I met him. Right. And then when we had our first child, because I always talked about Nova Scotia. Yeah. And, you know, he's he comes from a busy city and he yeah. went to another busy city. Yeah. So to come to the country, he's kind of like, you know, a small town. He wasn't sure. He wasn't sure right. of many reasons, work-wise. Right. That. But he ended up loving it. We came, we stayed at a little cottage. Yeah. And it was like, it's great, but, you know, but is there work? And, I'm, you know, there was. There yeah. really is. And I think there's a misconception with that. Uh, yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. And there's work if you want to find it. That's exactly you what know? it is. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 100%. Yeah. 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 And there's lots of local businesses, I think, that are, like, starving for uh, staff. Oh, yeah. oh that's yeah. 100 and I think too with the, like when we got here the construction industry because that's what he does right now he, he builds high rises here in Halifax as well yeah um, and he helps me with my business but yeah. my uncle who stayed here he was always saying um, construction like there's so many people here that need either you know renovations done yep. and it takes months to do yep. or find somebody yep um so it's a true story it, <laughs> yeah there's a whole bunch of people on the lake that are like scrambling to find people to, to, to do. do stuff yeah. yeah yeah so that was something you know and my brothers are here so my brothers came first and they all are in the business so they mm -hmm. all do construction oh okay um, so my uncle was pushing them you guys should all get together yeah. but they ended up it's it's a scary thing when you go off on your own and you open up a business mm-hmm you have to, it's a big risk. So oh, for sure. You have to, yeah. you, you know, if it's guaranteed, like the way I see it, if there's something lacking in a community and you're going to bring that, yep. you know, then you're guaranteed there's, you know, you'll, if it's a good product or if it's right. a good job, you'll do well. Yep. You know, like, but if there's like so much of one thing, you know, yeah. Bother, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How is business? <laughs> not bad, not bad at yeah. all. Yeah, we just, it's kind of, I was just mentioning the season's slowing down a little bit. Yeah. But um, did you close up your shop? I closed on, up on my road? shop. Yeah. Yes. I, um, September ish, I yeah. closed it up. But then I'll reopen, uh, I believe, usually in May, I, I yeah. reopen it again. Um, but I, the barn and that was the first year that you did this, right? Was that the first year? That the, the, the shop was the going shop. on two years. Oh, was it two years now? Yeah. Oh, okay. This was the second time. Right. And yeah, it did really well. People, you know, there's a, that road, Milk Hill Shore Road. Yep. It's a great walking road. Oh, yeah. I know it. All the ladies yeah, walk up and down. All the that. ladies walk up <laughs> My mom being one of them. Yes, she's committed every day. <laughs> yeah. This year. And it's great. That's, it's, and it's an, like, honestly, who wants to walk on the highway, too? It's oh, so nerve wracking. It is. It's 60, but people don't do 60. No. Yeah, sixty, and yeah. you know, like the space is like so yeah, it is small. super narrow. Yeah, so it's just you know a relaxing, yeah. and you can do like it's I, like from end to end, and then back again. It's a good hour and a half, almost yep. two hours. You know, yeah, it is. Yeah, so, I've watched it a couple of times. Wendy, Wendy walks it a lot too. Yes, yeah. So she walks a lot with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> without my mom, uh, my sister in law. Denise, she's up and down that road several oh, times. Yeah. Do you know Denise? Did Denise come know. by the ca the coffee shop at all? No, I, yeah. I, I have to see face. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah, my mom's definitely there. Um, but yeah, lots. It's a great traffic road. And then, you, do you, in the summertime, do you get like the cyclists or anything that come down? Yes. There? Yeah. Okay. Yes. When we we got 
more this year than the last year. And I think because maybe they're catching wind of it. And it was like, I think there's a couple of uh, businesses that actually uh, organize yep. like biking tours and stuff. And they kind of unload there. And oh, really? Oh, nice. And then they come get a coffee. Oh. And hang out Beauty. in pastry and then they yeah. go to their thing. Which yeah. Is great. Are you part of any of those like cyclist groups? You should join some of those I groups. Probably should yeah. Say. Just hit them up and say, yeah. Hey, I know a great place for you to start. Yeah, exactly. And finish. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um you got the uh, shop and uh, but before that you were doing some you were like catering and whatnot too. Do you do catering? No. I do no. um, if they ask, but okay. it's, I mostly did. So I started how I started was orders at orders. first, and I started oh. at the barn, the Harvard's barn. Oh, okay, yeah. So that was actually kind of my dream was to get in there because you know I used to go there a lot when I was younger, and I just loved it. it just brings the whole community together, and um, yeah. So I started outside. Yep. Um, the first day, actually, because I did a lot of promo, I did a lot of orders. Yeah. I gave a lot of pastries to the community, so I dropped off boxes to like all the ladies, the independent, because nobody right. knows who I am. Nobody tries has tried my pastries. So sure. What better way than just yeah. hand them out and they'll be like, it speaks for itself, right? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody loves free food. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the first day at the at the barn, I think the market opens up at eight and nine thirty. We were sold out. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm, time then, to go home. Yeah. <laughs> but you took like, orders. Yeah. 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 And then just every week we were there and uh, just keep growing and growing. And yeah. now this is, I think we're going on our fourth year at the Hubbard's barn. Yeah. And, um, are you going to do any of the Christmas stuff this year? Yes. Yeah. I'm there. I'm there for, um, November the, t- the 28th. December the sec, December the. 4th. Oh, they do that pretty late, eh? They're doing it. They actually usually do it, do it a little bit later, but because it gets so cold, mm. they pushed it a little bit sooner. Yeah. Um, yes. Cold and, then, and Hubbard's. <laughs> well, they have all the. Even if you're inside, they have all the doors open. Oh yeah, so it okay. It's pretty cold. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'm also I did Tin Talon as well in the summertime. Yeah. And that's only like from May to October. Where in Tin Talon? Do you know? Um, where the home hardware is yep so just right across from it they have the maritimes uh, there's like these two barns oh yeah uh, and there's like this little field there and then there's yeah. like a kind of like a knickknack store mm-hmm. um so they do it in the open field and oh, there's okay. like a red little barn and they do it in there as well oh nice and it, it gets really good is that where they're the uh, uh the guy who cuts the logs the wood is yes, that right there, right exactly. in there? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the woodcutter. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah, um, he is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he does some really great stuff. Yeah, so they're, and they're going on 11 years, which I didn't know that it was that long. Yeah. The 10 talent market, but it was, that was really nice little community, nice little uh, market as well. And I do, um, in the winter time, I started last year and I'm going to do it again this year, is Blockhouse. Oh, yeah. So the same people who organize. I love the four corners there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> The same people who um, do the Bridgewater market do Blockhouse oh. in the, in the wintertime. And it's inside the Waldorf School okay. there. And uh, it's just a small little cute market. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Just something to keep me going throughout yeah. the winter as well. So how did you get into, you mentioned there was a bakery back home in Ontario. Yes. Uh, which was had, sold off for, yes, to, to start a cod to fisher. To start a cod <laughs> uh, yeah. So how did you decide to get back into that? Well, um, I was... Because you weren't doing that in Ontario. No, I was a makeup artist for oh, okay. 20 something years. Oh, wow. In okay. Toronto. Oh. And do you still do makeup on the side? No, I kind no? of... Compl- like, when I got here, some people, you know, they caught wind uh, that I did do it. And I did get asked yeah but i didn't want that to take right. over for what i was trying to do sure um not that like i don't love doing makeup but i did that for so long right? yeah i do i do very much enjoy doing it but i just it wasn't this kind of the baking thing kind of took over a little bit my passion right. yeah and i just wanted to see it through and, yeah and you know, I I felt with every bone in my body that this would do well, so I just wanted to commit solely on that. Sure, that's what dragons dragons always say on the den. Yes. they're like you got to commit one hundred percent. Yeah, you can't. It, otherwise, it's a part time job. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> it, right? And if I were to take makeup jobs, then it would kind of lose my focus a little yeah. bit on. You know, I loved it. I did it for so so many years in Toronto. Did you do like special effects makeup too, did or everything. you did everything? Yeah, I did special effects, film, With 
bridal runway yeah. photography. Oh wow! Yeah, I did it all, oh. and I was freelancing, so that means it was right. my own boss, which was a lot harder. Yes. Because usually makeup artists they get into an agency, and it's kind of all the work is handed to you. So you're, you know, you do have to pay fees. You do got to give a percentage to the agency. Right. But they find all the work for you, and you don't have to do it. So everything was like kind of started off. I started off at a salon. And it kind of grew from there. Like I started doing weddings and then people talk, you know, people spread the word. And then yep. next thing you know, you know, I'm every weekend I'm doing something. Did you sell your business off to anybody? No, I did not. No, actually I did give a lot of my makeup kit to an upcoming artist as oh, okay, well. Yeah. She was starting and yeah. I did uh, pass some clients Do to her Do you get some well. residuals from that? <laughs> 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 No, she's like, bye, you're going to Nova Scotia. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> wow, you gifted her something nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gave her quite a bit, like a nice little makeup case, a whole bunch of makeup. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and wow. She uh, came with me to some jobs as well. Did she? Yeah. Okay. So she can kind of get the feel of, you know, doing it. Because sure. it's one thing of doing your friends and your family and then going to a yeah. shoot. Oh, I know. That must be quite intimidating. The, the, um, I can only imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's got to be pretty nerve wracking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah yep. For sure. Especially if you are like new in the game, oh, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I wish I had, that's why I think I did it for her too. Cause I really wish that I had somebody right. kind of do that for me in a sense. So I wanted to be that person and do that for her as well. Yeah. Cause it wasn't easy. I remember my first time on a, you know, a shoot. I was a yeah. mess. <laughs> it was like, it you was were like, fixing your makeup. I was, I was holding it together. I was yeah. like, yeah. I'll be okay. And it was a Nike shoot too. And it was, uh, I was just, just starting in the business and it wasn't anything elaborate because it's Nike. So it was sports, right? Right. So it was very, you know, minimal makeup, minimal yeah. hair, but just being in there, it was, you know, it can be intimidating, but right. it was a great way to like break it. And yeah. you know, the next time around I was ready to go. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Would you happen to, to do a small job here and there? <laughs> I, I, had, I picked a costume out for Halloween like a month ago, and I don't know that I like it too much because it's like, it's not really a costume unless I do my face, but I don't want to just like slap some makeup on my face. So what is it? What's the costume? It's a devil. It's the, <laughs> devil. Yeah, it's the devil. Yeah, it's the devil. Although, so I saw this really cool like velvet jacket and whatnot, yeah. and I was like, oh, that's nice. And Wendy's yeah. like, yeah, that's nice. You should be the devil. And I was like, oh, I think I can do that. Sure, why not? And then I got a little bowler hat and I'll glue some horns on it. Yeah. But then after I was looking at it for a while, I was like, well, this is just like pretty much what I wear to work. It's a pant, <laughs> pants, shirt, and a tie with a snazzy jacket. So I'm not too impressed with my choice now. And the only way that it can, and the only way it's going to pop mm-hmm. is if the is if I get my face yeah. uh, painted. Yeah. But it needs to be like nice, you know. <laughs> I, I don't want it to be uh, a, a, a terrible. <laughs> All right. I mean, anybody can sit in front of a mirror and slap something on for my sure, face, but it needs sure. to like it needs to really you know it needs to have some oomph for it you know yeah. like so I don't know so I, Are I you was going somewhere with a uh, no actually we're just having like a big Halloween party. Do you guys do that normally? You have a big Halloween party? Uh, nope. <laughs> this is the first year yeah, this nice. is the first year we decided to do it. I don't know this year something about the Halloween season just really struck us differently i don't know we never do anything for halloween halloween is like the the holiday that uh our house forgot yeah Uh, because we're like we're like 100 percent like christmas people which is funny because i I am i'm a huge horror fan i love horror i love all things scary i love the halloween yeah um my podcasts are all like uh you know true crime thriller you know murder (laughs) mystery monsters from the uh the crypt and all that stuff but for some reason, uh, Halloween is just like the holiday that uh, that that we forgot. Uh, it's like, you know, the uh, insignificant uh, younger stepchild to the to Christmas. Interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually the opposite because I was obviously I'm a makeup artist, so I was that was my thing. But like, mm-hmm. I had to, you know, make sure my costume was, you know, right. aces, you know, yeah, like yeah. and the makeup and everything. Yeah. If I was going anywhere, I had to represent, and that was like with anything, anywhere I went. I had to make sure I looked like I was a makeup artist. If sure. I, you know, you, you tell somebody you're a makeup artist and they look at you like, really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I 
all everywhere I went, I, my wardrobe was always planned. My makeup, my hair, it was always to the T. And now we kind of went right, the yeah. opposite. We're like, ah, jogging pants, <laughs> t-shirt. Um, but we actually, it's funny enough that we, uh, me and my family were Christian. We actually decided not to celebrate Halloween. This is going on. Th- this year will be the first year that the kids will not be dressing. And they're totally fine with it. Yeah. Uh, I would. They were dressing at school, but they weren't going trick or treating. Right. And I would do something at home, like right. I would, you know, do like a, a hunt, and they would go, you know, sure. the property in the house, and you know, yep. have fun. Which I'll still do that because I don't want them to feel completely, you know, like yeah. alienated. But um, it's something that they feel too because they're like, mommy, you know, we're 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 reading the Bible, we're practicing Christianity. This doesn't kind of make sense. Right. Yep. And I'm okay. like, yeah, you're right. And I'm like, yeah. maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should kind of pull back a little bit on yeah. that. But, you know, we got to go. I said, you know what we'll do, though? I'll set up Christmas yeah. early. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I'll do all the decorations yeah. Yeah. and the tree. And they're like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they love Christmas presents. So you, you're gravitating more to where, I guess, we, uh, more towards All Saints Day, I guess, now. Because, I, I, you know, it's funny. I was doing a little research on yeah. Christianity and yeah. what kind of, because I also run, uh, I'm doing a plug here, Trivia Nights yeah. every Thursday at the Folk <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, From 6 that. to 8 p.m. Yeah, yep. yeah. And uh, next week I'm doing, or this week, I should say, we're doing a special uh, Halloween uh, theme. Okay. And I was doing a little uh, background history uh, check on, you know, the origins of Halloween and stuff yeah. like that. And uh, I was like, learn that with christianity yeah. it's really all about um, all saints day yeah. which is the uh, november 1st that's right yeah, yeah. and yeah. then uh, you know there's and how what the word and the word hallow is uh, you know a very um religious word derived from hallowed and, and yeah. all of that yeah it just took a dark turn yeah <laughs> yeah 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 and then and then it, and then it uh, it meshed with uh you know the the celtic root which yes. which had a yeah, yeah 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 for sure yeah and then of course uh, you know corporations got their hands on it yeah. commercialized yeah, it yeah exactly <laughs> it's like easter and the easter bunny and all of that it's yeah the same thing kind yeah of. yeah <laughs> but it's funny enough that one thing I, I was with my kids that i never told them like santa claus was real or yeah. the easter, easter bunny was real i had uh you know in one way it's good and in one way you know my kid at school is like telling his friends santa claus isn't real <laughs> and i'm like oh Maybe you shouldn't say that because yeah. still their parents are still telling them, you know. Yeah. So that's something even when it came with Easter because they know about, you know, what Easter really is. And, you know, it's all about bunnies now and, and oh, eggs, right? Yep. And I'm like, that's not really what it's all about. And I, you know, I say the same thing. That's corporations just trying to make money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. And they're like, okay, mom. I'm like, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, speaking of how to make money, yes. I want to get back to Cape yeah, Crow there yeah, for a second. Sure. Um, so, uh, what are you? Any future plans uh, for uh, Cape Crow yeah. as you move through the uh, next couple of months or the next few years? Well, one what, thing that I have um, kind of aiming towards is getting into stores. Yep. Like getting uh, yeah. into like either you know a superstore or independent Sobeys, right. maybe even independent stores as well, like mom and pop shops, and just kind of sell my products as well there sure um i do something called it's a we call it portuguese pão de queijo which is brazilian cheese bread yep and that's something like in toronto they actually it gets shipped from brazil but it comes frozen in like little balls and it's not easy to make but yeah. that way it is and they you just put it in the oven and you and you bake it so that's kind of what i want to do over here oh, with yeah, my yeah. Yeah. Cheese balls is like, you know, freeze it and then put it in the stores as well. Yeah. Because they get a really good response. It's gluten free. And, yeah. the, you know, a lot of people here right. are celiac. And so, yeah, I want to kind of start there in marketing and just call everybody. Yeah. And see if they would take a meeting with me and just bring them yeah. treats. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. try the treats. Yeah. You should um, uh, you should try uh, try Jay Hiltz with the Mercantile in oh. Chester. Oh, yeah. Because he he uh, he he brings in all kinds of artisan boutique things yes. uh, for the mercantile. Uh, really, have you been in there? No, but I seen it. I drove by it. It's yeah. beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. and it, there's lots of really great things in there. And I think that uh, and they do food too. They have like. Um, I mean, it would be like it would it would be stuff that would be that wouldn't perish as quickly. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, because yeah. I don't know that they're set up for you know freezers or yeah. fridges or anything like yeah. that. So, but uh, I mean, it could be some baked goods or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah. I'm just saying that yeah. might be a good place to yeah, start. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then yeah, the independent Hubbards. Yes, yeah. definitely yeah. there. That's yeah. gonna be. 
my first. <laughs> yeah. And then there's an independent in Chester. Yes. Is that an independent? Yes. Yeah, there's that an is independent. An... There's a food land as well. Oh, there is a food land. Yeah. Yes, right. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. There's a food land there too. Wow, Chester's big enough for two grocery stores. <laughs> <laughs> I just put that math together right now. Two grocery stores for little old Chester. Little old Chester. Yeah, okay. Right on. <laughs> I take it you haven't been down there. <laughs> mm. No, I have. I've even been to the Dollarama there. Or it's not the dollar ram, the it's dollar. The, gr- the great Canadian dollar That's or something right. like that. Yeah, my yeah. kids always want to go in there. And yeah. <laughs> That's an expensive, uh, you know. It's an expensive I'm not, dollar ram. I'm not throwing shade. I'm not throwing shade at uh, Chester's uh, dollar store. But it is an expensive dollar store. I haven't seen a dollar, anything a dollar in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like multiples of dollars. Yeah, multiples. Yeah. Exactly. Wendy came home with a Christmas decoration that uh, she says she's been searching for for like the past... Um, well, five years now, six years, and it's a, it's a, essentially a snow globe inside of a television. I saw it. You saw that? I saw yeah. Hundred and something dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like literally when you walk in the door, it's yeah. literally right there, and my kids are like, "Oh my goodness!" And I'm yeah. like, "Nope." <laughs> yeah. I saw it. Yeah. And like, no, that's. Too She's crazy. like, "I got this at the dollar store." I'm thinking, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's okay then." And then. I was like, well, how much was it? She's like, oh, you know, it was at the dollar store. <laughs> this is what I tell you. Uh, now I know. <laughs> now I know. I, yeah. Oh, I spilled the beans. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, she, I knew then. I knew, she told me then how much it was. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it was like 150 some odd dollars. Yeah. yeah. I was, so multiples of dollars. Multiples of dollars. Multiples of dollars. Yeah. 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 But it's a good store. I like it. We bought some arts and crafts in there for the kids and it's stuff like great. that. They not have, throwing shade at Chester. No, not at all. <laughs> and they have a great like arts and crafts section in that mm-hmm. store as well. It's they amazing. do. Yeah, they have a really great uh, section for all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a nice store. It they is. accidentally charged me one hundred and fifteen dollars for ten pieces of double bubble. <laughs> it was 10 cents uh, 10 cents of gum and uh, I don't know I was feeling nostalgic so I picked up 10 pieces of gum and I went to the counter and I did not have cash on me so I had to pay debit for 10 for ten pieces of 10 cent gum I was like oh, this is a bit silly on my behalf and um, anyways they uh, rung it through and uh, I went home later that night and uh, Wendy's going through the bank account she's like what did you spend $115 on at the uh <laughs> and I was like, $115? <laughs> it's just like, yeah, there's $115 out of the account on, on the uh, uh, dollar store in, in Chester. I was like, wow, the gum was 10 cents. <laughs> was it 10 cents or $10? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I was like, that's all I bought. And, uh, and she's like, well, they must have charged you $10 uh, uh, for a piece of gum and not 10 cents. I was like, whoa, that's expensive gum. Yeah. <laughs> they were really good. They caught it right away. Yeah, they, they caught Did it right. They? Yeah, they caught oh, it right away. Good. Yeah, they caught it right away, and they were already reversing it by the time we caught on <laughs> and, and, and made a call. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> that is that's good. good. Yeah. yeah, but that was pretty funny. Yeah, one hundred and fifteen bucks that's, for gum for yeah. ten pieces of double bubble, which is not great gum. <laughs> you just buy it because it's for the nostalgia. Yeah, it lasts yeah. like two seconds. Yeah, the flavor's gone. Flavor's gone. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What are we doing for time there? Oh, let's get into real estate wow moment. Yes. All right. So you came with a great story, I'm sure. Yes. So <laughs> I'll let you. So yeah, when we, uh, so all my family first moved here. So my brothers, my, my middle brother was the first one to buy property here. He actually had it for many years and he would rent it out while he was in Toronto. Um, and then my older brother came, my parents came. We were the last because we would try to like, I, you know, right. I want to find the good spot. And it had to be oceanfront. It has to okay. be in front of the water. I'm like, yeah. I'm not moving to Nova Scotia right. unless I'm in front of the ocean. Sure. <laughs> I'll just stay in Toronto then. Um, so yeah, we came, uh, we saw, we came one time, we saw quite a few properties. And then uh, my real estate agent called me and he's like, you got to come down and see this property. It's on Mill Cove. And that was always yeah. my dream yeah. was to live on that road. Oh, really? So, yes, it was. It like, is a beautiful road. It is a great road. When, when I grew up, it wasn't apparently. Um, but I've heard that. that. I've heard that yes, too. I've it, heard that. When I grew up, yeah. it was. But then um, I remember my uncle taking me. I think when I came when, when I was in my twenties to a party. Right. And I put two and two together. So I, at the party, I was uh, like standing on the deck, and I'm like looking out. I'm like, man, I can't wait. I, I would love to live in a place like this. Come years later, that property is where 
Well, you live now? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I ended up thinking about it. I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. I go, I think this is the house. Because yeah. people are like, oh, yeah, they used to throw parties there all the time. I'm like, I think <laughs> this, this is, is the, the place. Right? <laughs> and it was uh, definitely um, a fixer-upper. And yeah. the story is, so we got, I ended up walking around the property. And, and funny enough, um, how I got my name Crow, uh, Cape Crow, was kind of the story. So I'm walking around the property and it was in March. It was covered in snow. It just snowed. And, you know, you can't really see too much inside the house. You know, I, I didn't really care too much because we were going to gut it anyways. Right. Um, and I'm taking pictures because I was by myself making the decision. Dennis was back in Toronto. Right. And uh, I'm like praying to God, please, God, <laughs> like give me a sign. <laughs> Is this the property, you know? Yeah. And I'm not even kidding you. Like 20 crows jump out of oh, a tree and start cocking. And I have pictures because I was taking pictures yeah. as I was going. And so I took it. All you see is like black dots, like all these crows. Like, yeah. oh. And I, to, till today, have not seen that many crows on right. my property. Yeah. Like you see five, six, but like this was a yeah. lot of crows. And this, you took this as a positive sign. I did. <laughs> I did. See, see, I've watched a lot of horror movies. <laughs> And see, crows, <laughs> crows have a bad rep, but they're actually even represented in the Bible. Too. Oh, okay. Yes, the, he, the crows fed Elijah food. Oh. So Elijah was, and uh, the story goes that Elijah, uh, God told him to go by the river and uh, I will take care of you. And the river you can drink from, and he brought the crows to give him food. So it huh. actually, and in Noah, the first bird to ever to, that Noah released was actually a crow, and then it was a dove. Oh. And the dove came back. Okay. To, so anyways steering off yeah um no but i like it yeah <laughs> <laughs> good backstory yeah, okay. yeah and yeah so then i end up saying okay we're gonna do it so come back to toronto and we start setting up setting it up we you know getting a contractor and all of that and we had a budget and he's like okay i can totally work with this budget uh, my brothers which was amazing was working with this contractor so right. they were overseeing it yeah which you know eased my yeah. stress a lot because yeah. you know i had my brothers working uh, come to find out that there was no, it was like a 80 year old Cape Cod style right. cottage. On the ocean. On the ocean. There was no foundation on this property. <laughs> so I wanted to salvage all the cedar shakes. I wanted to keep, the house still is the original style. Right. Um, but I couldn't keep, so we, we ended up, our budget ended up like tripling because we had to tear everything down. Oh, you had to tear it all down. I you had to tear down the party house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Which was sad because, and I'm like, can we salvage the cedar shade? And he's like, ah, oh, are you serious? <laughs> I'd have to like individually, you know. So you didn't do a home inspection? No, because, <laughs> exactly. Uh, we're like, we're going to go to Teaching moment, anyways. teaching yes, moment. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah, that was probably, should have been done. <laughs> 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 our budget wouldn't have been through the roof after me and Dennis were like oh my goodness yeah we're uh, we gotta work double now you know and yeah it was but in the end you know like it ended up working out it took a little bit longer to get done because of that factor as right well. yeah uh you know we had to reconform our finances but you know we came we actually moved here three days before the lockdown oh really we got here, yeah oh wow we had we were living in a loft in toronto and we had till the end of march and I said, you know, let's go a little sooner. I said, it's March break. Right. I said, so the boys have a little bit of a transition. Thank God we did that. Thank God you did that. Because we would have been stuck in Toronto. Yep. Yeah. And I would have been right. going crazy. Two boys in the loft. Oh, like, my no, God. Because yeah. at that time, you couldn't even go yeah. for a walk. <laughs> yeah. Like, were they talking, uh, I don't want to get too far into the weeds on that, but yeah. were they talking about not coming back from March break in Toronto? Because here, they were actually talking about not coming back from March break before we went on, Mar before the kids went on March yes. break. Yes, yeah, yeah. They did, they did. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so you were like, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And, and But I didn't know that they were going to do the lockdown when they did the lockdown. Right. So, you know, it, it really worked out in our favor too because, you know, we have a yard and we have... You yep. know, space, kids can just run outside yep. and play, you know, like, yep. so it worked out. So where did you stay when they were tearing down the house? No, I was in, we were still in Oh, Toronto. you were still in Toronto at the yeah. time. Oh, sorry. I misunderstood we were, that. we were, I think we drove a couple of times. Like, uh, I, I used to work, um, in a high end marble and granite showroom yeah. place and I would do makeup on the side as well. So I had, I got all my tiles as original, like yeah. Italian, beautiful tiles uh, from Seattle, it was called Seattle, the place. And so we, 
I bought them and we drove to deliver them and, yeah. and get them installed as well. So right. uh, we did that a couple of times and even our stuff too. We, every yeah. time we went, we'd bring a bunch of stuff. So we, the move wouldn't be so right. crazy. Yeah. Even if it still was though. Yeah. <laughs> it always is. <laughs> it always is. You're like, oh, yeah, it always is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So after you tore down the house and you put it, after you noticed there was no more foundation and yeah. you tore down the house, yeah. no problems after that. Well, not really. <laughs> Just basic problems that yeah. go with building a house. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, and delays. When did delays. when yeah. is your house finished now? <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew I knew what the answer was going to be. No, <laughs> that's why I had to ask. No, there isn't. There's still like um, closet doors that still need right, yeah. to be installed. Yeah. We have pocket doors that we haven't. I actually, was just talking about my husband to this, saying like we haven't done like there's trim around the bathroom that needs to be done. Right. Um, yeah. So it's just basically those things, but for the most part, it is. Yeah. Um, just the little things. Yeah. Of course, it's like the little things, so it's sure. not that big of a deal. But right. To yeah. me, I have to look at it every day. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> just put the trim on. Who did you Who did you hire to build the house? Do you want to give him a shout out? Uh, it was um, Cottage Keepers. It was Gabe. Oh, okay, Cottage yeah, Keepers. Gabe yeah. Ruthier. So All he right. was actually our real estate agent at the time, oh, okay. and he yep. ended up being our contractor yep. too at the time. And I think he left afterwards. I'm sure. I don't know. How long he did. He, he he parked his uh, he parked his license, I think, and I, I think he's. I, I actually think that he's retired from real estate now. Real he's estate. just trying to focus on just on the contract. Yeah, trying to yeah. focus on that now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he did uh, our house, and he did a great job, and we're, yeah. we're happy with him. For That's sure. good. Yeah. Uh, right on. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Right on, right on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's my neighbor. Is he? <laughs> well, I mean, we live on the same road. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your mom, too, is on that road as well, right? Yeah, she's further, yeah, she's further up the road. Nice. She, yeah, she lives. Yeah, we're all up there. Yeah. That's great. It's a great road. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's nice. Yeah, we, we love it back there. It's like our own little compound. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you in front of the lake as well? Uh, we're like right. We're on the uh, we're on the hillside of the road, okay. um, and uh, we've got a twenty foot uh, uh, right away down to the lake. So we've got stairs down to our dock. Oh, we've got our own dock and everything. Oh, that's yeah, great. yeah. And that that Gabe is... built actually. Did he? Yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. <laughs> he didn't build it for us. He built it. Uh, so we bought the house from. Um, we bought the house from a lady that used to live there who was who's related to Gabe's wife. Okay. And so um, they were using the, that water access for their boat. Oh, okay. And so he built an, a brand new like floating dock and everything oh, nice. down there. And then uh, the lady decided it was time to sell. <laughs> so we bought it. <laughs> and this is like, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got to go all the other way. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, uh, that's a busy lake too, right? Oh like, uh, yeah, you can get pretty busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it can. Yeah, it's uh, pretty busy in the summertime, and uh, um, you know, we like it's funny, you know, when like you utilize a place just for like seasonal purposes for a long time, and then you move somewhere full time, and uh, um, you uh, you know you like the slow time. Yes. You know, I, I like this time of year. You know, it yes. slows down a bit. It's not as crazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Come like you know March, I'm like, all right, it's yeah. time to yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of like my transition from Toronto to here was one thing. I'm like, I don't want to be like where there's nobody around because yeah. I'm so used to you know like everybody on top of you in Toronto, and so now we're here and now I'm like Dennis we should get like a farm where there's like nobody around yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah like how quickly you change and like even as we visited Toronto last March and. We were like, how did we do this for so long? Like, right. It's just, and you like, everybody is literally on top of each other. Yeah. There's all, just condos everywhere. Yeah. There's no parking. That It's just insane. Yeah. And I'm like, how did we do, and like anxiety hit like right away. Yeah. And we're like, we are so happy we made them. Yeah. yeah. I think people get scared of that transition. They think, you know, I'm going to be bored. Yeah. It's not easy at first. Right? No. It really isn't. You yeah. got to get used to it. Yeah. But once you get your own groove and you keep yourself busy, you're, yep. it's great. Yeah. I find that living in small towns makes you more active in the community. Yeah, for sure. You know? When you live in the city, you don't no. even know your neighbor's name. You don't even know your neighbor's names. That's right, yeah. But out here, it forces you to, in the smaller places, it forces you to just, you know, be involved more in the community. It yeah. forces you to get to know your neighbors a little bit more because really, you know, where else are you going to go to have a good time? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to your neighbor's yes. house. <laughs> exactly. um, yeah, so what are we doing for time there? We're at uh, 34 minutes. 
34 minutes. Okay. Well, let's, um, do you want to do any, uh, uh, do you have uh, social media handles and uh, uh, all contact information? You want to share that? Yeah, yeah. So I have my Facebook page, which is just, you can just find me Cape Crow or Instagram's Cape Crow Cafe Market. Yep. Um, I'm at the barn, the Hubbard's barn every Saturday from eight to 12. Yeah. And then you can find me at Blockhouse and I'll definitely post everything on my social Great. media. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming Thank on the show, Melissa. Thank you for Melissa. having me. Yeah, yep. it was fun. <laughs> um, 